Hey guys, and welcome to Modern Ukrainian Homestead channel. Let me show you a couple of mistakes I did, and how am I resolving to redo them. What do you think am I doing here? Huh? I'm digging this cable out. <laughs> I put the big guy, well, big guy, 2.5 meters in wind well, one kilowatt machine out of production because this tower is going to be rebuilt soon and it will be moved over there. But actually the problem lies that once I was setting the system up, I decided, well, it's forever. I will bury the cable down there. It will go inside to the inverter, which is located in, the, in that place. And now the problem is that the cable is too thin and I have to change it. And I cannot change it eventually very easily. It's it's 2.5 square millimeters, as I've been telling you. Well, and th 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 this, uh, I did it only for the reason to like shortcut it to prevent from rotation. That's the only thing. But the cable has to be changed. And the problem is that I have to <laughs> dig it all out, you know. And the thing is, I have to do it right now because we already started preparing the, the base for the... Uh, well, how do you call it? The, pav the pavers that will be laying over there. And well, in this place, you cannot do this before this is done. That's as easy as that. That cable that goes from the other inverter, it's it's really, it's not burnt down. It's really put uh, like maybe, maybe five centimeters, maybe two inches only below the ground there. And that's it. And here I am happy that I decided to go to do it this way. But eventually I think I will still do it over the ear here and then down and then inside. Same stuff, I will never ever be burying cable underground like I did for it for these wind turbines already, one, two, and three. It all goes in the air, in the air and inside. It like does not um, have any troubles with this. You can easily change it, whatever. That's, that's probably the best way to do this. It's open, I mean, of course you have to apply some um, like steel cables to, uh, to hold it because the, cab the, 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 the copper cable itself, it's quite heavy and it has to hold on something. It cannot like weigh on its own weight. That's what you have to think about, but eventually, yeah, think about this, think about this. And also a very interesting fact, it's been inside for almost a year and people who, were selling me this, told me, ah, it will rot, it will dissolve, it will not hold. Take a look. Nothing, absolutely nothing happened to it. So, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. This will be the short update for today. I will still have <laughs> probably a day to dig it out. Because, well, from, from here to, to that place. And, well, uh, I mean, it took it took a nice amount of time to actually do this. That's the third day I'm doing this. And I have to apply water inside to actually make the trench, fill it with water, and then to fill in the soil like it, it that it presses, compresses really heavily. So I have no soil waste at all. Actually, I'm even putting out, like, look, everything that was inside, I put it down, but still I have the hole. So actually this means that <laughs> I'm I'm now missing this piece of soil, right? So I will have to add a little bit to actually uh, have the, the, the same the same level reached. But this means that the compression before was not enough. And right now I'm doing this in much better way than it was before. So yeah, that's it. I will take a shovel uh, and continue. And you, you will know, no, don't, don't dig the cable inside, like put it on the air. For example, in my case, if I would just like connect it somewhere here and put an air tr an air track to to this place and then go down and simply get inside over there, nothing specific. Like why why would you? It would be like nicely cleanly done still um, without any issues. But yeah, underground cables are not for me now from now on. Yeah, thanks for watching and see you later.